Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, Engineering Society. I had loads of questions about the automated rotary car parking system project and unfortunately I hadn't enough time to answer all your questions. So I have decided to make this video to demonstrate it for you so you can build your own version of the automated car parking system. So let's start with it. The mechanical design is always a good idea to start with. The mechanical design was made using SOLIDWORKS software and then it was exported to ANSYS software to perform the mechanical analysis from stress strain, shaft analysis, shaft bending and shutter and shutter. As you can see, the design consists of six main parts. Firstly, the main frame, which is a two parallel structures connected to each other through a metallic rod. Uh, the aim of this main frame is to support the body of the system. Secondly, the gifted motor, which will give the rotary motion to the system. The output rating of the motor should be chosen based on the load of the system at extreme conditions. Thirdly, the platforms. The platforms will be the housing for the cars. Motion chain. The motion chain will transfer the rotary motion from the motor to the sprockets. The sprocket by a turn will transfer the rotary motion from the motion chain to the main chain. And the platforms are mounted on the main chain, so when it rotates, the platforms will rotate as well. I have developed two operating schemes for the system. The first one is using an human machine interface screen at Shamai and the second one is using a graphical user interface GUI developed using LabVIEW software. Let's start with the HMI control scheme. It consists of an electrical cabinet with pilot slides, start and stop push buttons and an emergency stop. The cabinet from inside contains two contactors used as an edge bridge to control the motor in both direction clockwise and anti-clockwise as a normal edge bridge does. The cabinet also contains a PLC controller which is the main brain of the system. The PLC will perform the control algorithm which I will demonstrate later in this video. As you can see, the electrical cabinet is mounted on the back side of the system. It contains the HMI screen, pilot lights which show the status of the system, start and stop push buttons, and an emergency stop button. On the HMI screen, you can require any platform you want, and the system will rotate till that platform is at the entrance position. The system can rotate in both directions depending on the control algorithm which will decide the shortest route. The second operating scheme is using a graphical user interface mounted on a personal computer. This GUI was developed using a lab view. As you can see, it has a virtual simulation shows the exact position of the platforms and the status of each platform, red for full and blue for empty. By clicking on the park button, the system will search for the closest empty platform and bring it to the entrance position. After that, it will print a pin code to retrieve your car with for security reasons. The system also will calculate the cost for your parking at the retrieve and you need to pay that money before you can take your car. Now, let's start with the control algorithm. This block diagram shows the main components of the system. The HMI or the GUI are the interface between the system and the users. The PLC is the main brain of the system. The driver and the motor are the actuators. Due to the rotary nature of the system, it was very difficult or even impossible to connect any wire to the platforms, and so, a photo throw beam sensor was used to determine the position of the platforms. This was done by fixing a mirror on each platform to reflect back the light to the sensor receiver. The throw beam sensor acts like a counter in the 
control scheme. Each pulse will be added or subtracted to the counter depending on the direction of rotation. When exceeding the minimum or maximum number of platforms, the control algorithm will reset the counter to 1 or 6 depending on the direction of rotation. The following flowchart shows the overall control scheme of the system and the second one showed the shortest route algorithm which decides the direction of rotation based on the shortest route. Both of these algorithms were coded on the PLC using ladder logic coding. For more information about the system, please contact me through my email shown in the description. If you like this video and for more videos, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. At the end, don't forget to leave a comment about the system and how it can be improved. And do you think the system will be beneficial to your country or not? Salam.